I'm Don Suggs, and I am the CEO of Rhino Metals. I started back in 1995. Um, I had been doing metal fabrication as a hobby, restoring an old World War II airplane, running a pro that project, and decided to go into uh, like a welding shop, just a general fabrication shop. And I did that in 1995, bought some CNC equipment, and then uh, in 1999, my father asked me to make him a gun safe. And um, at the time, I was flying for the Air National Guard, so I was deploying a lot. And, I, um, and then doing the job was, this business was kind of a hobby, really. I uh, made the gun safe and I realized that there was a demand for it. Um, and so over the years, that metal fabrication shop just kind of morphed into a safe manufacturing company. The F4 had two big nicknames that everybody called it by. One was Double Ugly and one was ri the Rhino. And uh, I didn't think that Double Ugly would really go well as a business name, so I picked Rhino. Steel is obviously the part that makes the box, that creates the visible part of the safe. That'll start as a large sheet. It'll be fed through a uh, computer numerically controlled laser cutter um, that automatically will load the sheet into the, into the laser, cut the parts out, and spits it out. We can run through about 60,000 pounds of steel in eight hours. Um, then that, those parts will be bent into the shapes that they need and then they'll be assembled into the safe and welded together. That body and door will be mated and hint the hinges will be put on. That unit will go to um, the paint department where it will be sanded and prepped for paint and it'll come out and the interior gets put into it. So our interiors have fabric on them um, and there's a lot of labor that goes into to creating the interiors. They'll install it, put the lock on, put the final logo on and inspect it, put the package on and off it goes to the warehouse. Okay, so for 2023, we came out with a new product called SafeX. So what we did with SafeX was we did this where we use, basically it's like a, a stud with um, some grade eight washers on it. We have a plate that slides behind there, the plate's in the door. When you lock it, that plate has a slot in it, it goes behind here, and it basically almost like bolts the door to the frame. And because it's, it, that stud sticks inside these holes, you can't separate, you can't pry the frame away from the door. You've got to actually, you would have to rip it out on the side of the door. And, and so it's basically what it's done is it's made safe secure again. DMB um, is probably the premier spot for people in this area to go and get um, a variety of products. And it seems like their variety has gotten bigger and bigger over the years. And, and they do an outstanding job for us. Um, DMB uh, displays our product, get a lot of floor space, um, only our product. Um, we're the only gun safe brand in, you know, in DMB. It's not like a big box store you walk in, you can't get any help. You know, the people in DMB typically uh, when you walk in there, you, you can ask questions about fertilizer or whatever, and you get very knowledgeable um, salespeople to help you. So it's like the best, the best of the best for us. My company, we have a culture um, that I think is very similar to DMB. Some retailers that, you know, are just going to try and use you and throw you to the side of the road. DMB is not like that. They respect their, their vendors. Like I said that culture is one that we want to have here and that we, we promote.